In this video, I'm about to blow your mind with some hard facts about an upcoming JRPG. It has ties to actual JRPG masterpieces such as Suikoden, Chrono Trigger, Wild Arms, Golden Sun, the Tales of series, and even fucking Xenogears. One of my favorite games of all time. It sounds fucking amazing, and it's gonna be a doozy. So strap in, and let's go. Hey everybody, I am Mark, aka Heroic Coffee. I do videos about JRPGs because, well, I love them. <laughs> and I also stream them over at twitch.tv slash Heroic Coffee TV. However, today I want to talk about a little game that started off as a Kickstarter called Ayudan Chronicle 100 Heroes. Now, I know what you're about to say, but my Kickstarter game suck. And for the most part, I have to agree with you, but there are a few hidden gems from time to time, and after seeing this game at E3 doing a shit ton of research, I'm fairly confident when I say that this is going to be the best video game of all time. Okay, maybe that's a little too much. We'll bring it back, we'll bring it back a little bit, a little bit. But this game's gonna slap. Now let me dive into this. So, what is Ayudan Chronicles 100 Heroes? Well, it's an upcoming JRPG scheduled for 2023, developed by Rabbit and Bear Studios and published by 505 Games. And it was first shown off during the Xbox and Bethesda E3 showcase. Why should I care? Well, the head of Rabbit and Bear Studios is none other than Yoshitaka Murayama which might ring a bell in some of your ears. Yoshitaka Moriyama is most famously known for being the director of Suikoden 1, Suikoden 2, and Suikoden 3, developed by Konami. Now for all you millennials that haven't had the pleasure, let me catch you up. I've played a bunch of JRPGs in the past. I've done my time. I've climbed Mount Olympus. I've retrieved the Sword of Light more times than you've scrolled through fucking TikTok. And I can safely say that Suikoden 2 in particular is one of the best JRPGs I've ever played. It was grounded in its premise. There was no galactic threat to the planet. There's just some brave heroes trying to stop a war because war is bad. It has everything you could want in a game. Phenomenal characters, epic storytelling, the narrative is fantastic. Friendship, betrayal, alliances, scheming, agendas. Very Game of Thrones-esque pre-season 8, of course. Uh, the translation was kind of shitty uh, at times from what I can remember, but if you could get past that, uh, you were in for a real treat. Anyway, back on track. Ayudan Chronicles is a spiritual successor to the Suikoden series. But Mark, Suikoden didn't end at two. In fact, there are five mainline games in the franchise, so why do a spiritual successor? Well, my young Padawan, all good things must inevitably come to an end. That apple pie you're eating is gonna get soggy after a while after it sits in the custard for too long, and that ice cream you wanna chow down on, that's gonna eventually melt. It's the circle of life. We learned about it in The Lion King, and now we're gonna recap it real quick right now. Yoshitaka left Konami about a month prior to the release of Suikoden 3, which, and this part is just to clarify speculation on my part, but it doesn't sound like it was on very good terms. I don't know the exact specifics, but leaving a project uh, when the third game of the series is being released a month away from now, a series that you essentially created and birthed into existence, doesn't sound like things are very hunky-dory between Yoshitaka and Konami at that time. So he hasn't been involved in any way, shape or form uh, with the Suikoden series for quite some time now, and there hasn't been a mainline series Suikoden game since 2006. Maybe Konami didn't know what direction to take it in after he left the company. Stop me when this is sounding all too familiar to you. Well, that's a bit of background, and since you're all caught up on the lore now, we can get into why I'm so excited about Ayudan Chronicles and stop saying fucking Suikoden. <laughs> Anyways, if you're enjoying the video so far, feel free to check out my other content, maybe subscribe to the channel. Subscribing is free, and watching, liking, and commenting on my videos helps them get recommended to other people who are just interested in this kind of stuff, so I'd appreciate that. So earlier on, I made some bold claims that this game was the holy grail of fucking JRPG goodness. <laughs> I said it had ties to Chrono Trigger, Wild Arms, Xenogears. Let's 
let's talk a little bit more about that. Rabbit and Burst Studios are working with a lot of different companies and different people, and this is more prominently apparent when you start to look at the list of composers that they currently have working on this project, uh, such as Matoi Sukuraba, known for composing music for games such as Shining Force 3, uh, the Tales of series, uh, and a personal favorite of mine, Golden Sun. A little RPG on the on the Game Boy Advance. Great game if you haven't tried it. Michiko Naruke work and involvement with Wild Arms 1 through 4. They're also working with Procyon Studio. And if you type into YouTube Procyon Studio Ayudan, you can find a video that was uploaded on channel Ayudan Chronicle that's titled BMG Run Through the Field, with the description that says, listen to a sample of ProSign Studios' Mariam Abunasar work. So why is this so important? Well, ProSign Studio is a company that was founded uh, by an extremely talented composer in the video game industry by the name of Yasunori Mitsuda. Yes, that's the same Yasunori Mitsuda responsible for the breathtaking soundtracks we all came to know and love in games such as Chrono Trigger, uh, Chrono Cross, and uh, Xenogears. And whilst it does say specifically uh, that Mariam Abunasar, I'm really sorry if I'm butchering that name, has composed this piece, still works and is employed by Procyon Studios, which again is owned and ran by one of my favorite video game composers of all time. So I think it's in pretty safe hands. Now, I can't actually play Run Through the Field on this video because, well, I don't own the track and I don't want to get sued out of my ass. But why not check it out after this video and come back and let me know what you think. I've heard it a few times and maybe I'm just a sucker for this kind of stuff, uh, but I think it sounds great and I'm fully on board the hype train. So are we heading back to the golden age of JRPGs with games like this coming out and games like Octopath Traveler doing super well recently? It certainly seems that way and I for one couldn't be happier. With that out of the way, you'll have to let me know, are you excited for Aodon Chronicles 100 Heroes? Let me know down in the comments, and if you do like this sort of content, subscribe, check out my other stuff, leave a like, and don't forget to head on over to Run Through the Field, uh, there's a link in the description, and come back to this video, and let me know what you think. I'll see you guys next time.